if a person says, look, I'm, I'm playing tennis twice a week, I'm playing basketball twice a week, um, and I'm lifting weights once a week, am I doing great? The answer is, yeah, you are doing great relative to most people. Um, but I don't think that that's a recipe for success if you want to be in the best shape possible in your last decade. And the reason being is sports like any sport, whether it be you know basketball, tennis, swimming, any particular sport has so much repetitive uh, stress in it that you're you're going to develop movement issues. You're going to have asymmetries in um, in 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 joints and muscles, and you want to kind of balance those things out as much as possible. So again, if 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 you're you know if you want to be able to play golf. Um, every week and you know you're going to walk 5 miles that's that's great but you have to acknowledge like every time you're swinging that club it's asymmetric um so you have to think about what am i doing to counteract that same with tennis same with basketball um and so it, it just again it just depends on how much time a person is willing to put into this i you know i don't want to suggest that everybody needs to do this because i i acknowledge it's really difficult if it wasn't difficult everybody would be doing it already you know by definition this is a, this is really a, a complicated idea and um maybe i just have the privilege of two things right one I got to experience my marginal decade in my 20s right i had that back injury when i was 28 that left me unable to walk for three months and in so much pain, I didn't know my name for a year. And, you know, during that period of time, like I would have given my life to have had everything back. So when I got it back, I, I, it's just, it's seared into my brain what it feels like to be so immobile, so debilitated and in so much pain. And I think that's just the greatest gift I ever received was to to have that time machine to basically go and experience the last decade of my life and then get zapped back to being 28 with a totally different mindset of, yeah, I'm, I never want that to happen again. And at least I'll do everything in my power to make sure it doesn't. So long answer to a short question, but the reality of it is you really do need to be training very specifically. And that means, you know, a lot of really silly looking unsexy things that I do every day. Um, sometimes as little as 10 minutes a day, sometimes as much as an hour a day, just on the stability stuff, just on the movement piece, you know, um, but I wouldn't trade it for anything because the, the way my body feels, uh, you know, it, I'm thanked for it. Mm -hmm.